Aside from hours of rehearsal uh, to prepare for this role, um, to get into character, I think the biggest thing is trying to really put yourself into that role and really believe that you are beauty and, you know, you those moments when you meet the beast, it's not just acting like, oh, I'm scared because he's a beast. You actually have to try to put yourself in that situation. Like if you did come up to something like a monster-like thing, you have to really believe for a second that you are scared. And then when he does turn into the prince, that you realize that you really are in love. And it's, um, I think that's how you kind of prepare um, for a role like that, is just going through each situation and each scene and really putting yourself in there as if you were in a real life situation so that your emotions are portrayed correctly and that they also, all the acting seems a lot more natural than just contrived. In this production there are some unique aspects um, to it as you know in comparison to other fairy tale ballets that we've done you know in most typical productions you have your typical ch scene changes where the person will exit stage and then come back or you know and that kind of changes the scene but what we've done in this production or what Robert Weiss has done is that he's added this vortex um, type thing that um, adds a little more effect, you know, it has lights and, and fog and everything, and that kind of represents the switching and the magic between going from the beast castle back to home and then back to the castle again. And that's how he's kind of incorporated the, the magical aspect of Beauty and the Beast, which I think has a, a good play in it.